Hey guys, it's Joe at PocketNow.com with a really quick exclusive video to show you the new Google Voice widgets in action. Let's go take a look. Okay, so with the new G2 ROM that was recently leaked, we found a new Google Apps package, and inside that was a couple widgets that showed up for Google Voice, and we had a lot of hope for these that, you know, Google might be getting a little bit closer to enabling VoIP from the handset without going over your cellular voice provider. Not quite there yet, but I'm still hopeful. With that came these two widgets. The first is Google Voice Settings, the second one is the Google Voice Inbox. And to get to this, of course, you find an empty spot. You're going to need a 3 by one square on your screen for each one of these widgets. Tap and hold on that empty spot, choose Widgets, scroll down here to find the widgets, and then tap to insert it. Now you can see I've already got the other one loaded up. The Google Voice Inbox widget shows you just that. This is a call that I have. I've already listened to it, so it's not unread. And I can just tap on it to take me right in there. The settings widget down on the bottom lets me open up Google Voice to the inbox, quickly compose a message, go into settings so I can toggle between, if you notice down on the bottom, it's set to ask for every call right now, use for all calls, do not use for calls, use international only. So you can just toggle through all of your settings right there. I like all calls. And then over there is do not disturb. So if you've only given out your Google Voice number and you don't want anyone to call you, you want everything to go to uh, to voicemail, you can just tap that and turn on or turn off do not disturb mode. So really nice. Uh, you can do that all really quick. Couple things to note. You are going to need Froyo. This will not work on Android 2.1 or below. You have to have 2.2 or up and you have to download it through a little bit more shady of uh, of sources, if you will. I'll include a link to that, so if you do have Froyo and want to give this a try, you can go ahead and do that. This will replace the stock Google Voice app that you can get from the market, at least for now, because it's currently unreleased officially. So, kind of neat uh, to show you hands-on. So here's our hands-on exclusive of the Google Voice widgets that came with the leaked G2 ROM. I'm Joe for PocketNow.com. If you like seeing all kinds of exclusives and uh, before you can get them apps, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, leave those down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our video channel so you can stay up to date on all things pertaining to smartphones and especially my favorite, the Android.